Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Frank Singhaas has been a lot of places on the high road. This time he goes somewhere he's been wanting to go to for a long time. It's not a drag strip, a road course, a burger stand, or a museum. But there are cars there, and best of all, Craig gets to be a kid again. Some of the producers of Motor Week say that my stories are pretty goofy. Well, not as goofy as this one. <laughs> This is Main Street, USA, at Orlando, Florida's Walt Disney World. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is one of the busiest streets in the country. We're here with one of the beloved characters, Goofy. And we want to ask, sir, we understand that one of the best ways of getting up and down Main Street is the Main Street Transportation Company. Isn't that true? and that there are over 500 people involved with taking care of all of the vehicles here at Disney World. Isn't that true? Another hard-hitting Motor Week interview. The Main Street Transportation Company uses a number of vehicles to provide shuttle service for the thousands of guests that visit the Magic Kingdom every day, including replicas of this 1904 Jitney and our fire truck driven by Lloyd Bullock. Well, they took three designs from 1905 to 1912 and designed one car out of it. They put a Continental four-cylinder engine in them with a standard transmission. Uh, we never take it out of first gear going up Main Street. We only drive about three or four miles an hour. There, it's uh, not bad to drive. They don't have any power steering, so you, you have to really pull on a wheel sometime to make your turns. What's the biggest challenge of driving here on Main Street? The crowd's going up and down Main Street. They don't want to move over and get out of your way. You have to blow the horn at them constantly and to make them just step over one or two steps so you can go by them. What's the best part about driving here on Main Street? Well, I like meeting people and talking to them and answering their questions if I can, and they have plenty of questions to ask. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Main Street Omnibus. My name is John, and I will be your driver on this one-way trip to Cinderella's Castle. Please remain seated at all times, keeping your arms and legs inside the bus. On our left-hand side, we have the Emporium Gift Shop. This is the largest gift shop on Main Street, USA. Across the street, Mickey Mouse is featured in Steamboat Willie, which first appeared in 1928. Now, in addition to the hard-working replicas at Main Street, USA's entrance to the Magic Kingdom, automobiles feature prominently in the Disney MGM theme park. There, as you stroll down in what appears to be Hollywood in its heyday, you're immediately aware of the classic cars. And believe me, there's some beauties. I was particularly taken by the old service station and the Buick convertible out front. And if some of these cars look familiar, it's because these are cars from such mega hits as Dick Tracy and Roger Rabbit. If you're lucky enough to take the backstage tour, you might even spot some vehicles from such movies as Blade Runner and Mad Max. So if you're as goofy over cars as I am, well, I think you'll find that a trip to Orlando's Walt Disney World will reward the car-crazy kid that's in all of us. I hope, I hope.